everything that you see out there from your Jupiter to your Neptune to your Pluto and then to your galaxies which contain millions and millions and millions of stars and then there are millions and millions and millions of galaxies out there everything that you see when you raise your head and above and the scientists have not even got to the end they haven't even found the beginning of the first heaven where the, where the heaven actually is that's just within the first heaven everything out there is within the first heaven you have seven heavens the distance between the first heaven and the second heaven is 500 years now at what speed only Allah himself knows 500 years it will take from the first heaven to the second heaven then from the second heaven to the third heaven the third heaven to the fourth heaven fourth heaven to the fifth heaven the fifth heaven to the sixth heaven the sixth heaven to the seventh heaven and Allah is the Lord of the seven heavens after the seven heavens you have the kursi of Allah Allahu la ilaha illa wal hayyul qayyum la ta'khudhu sinatun wa la nawm له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علم إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض الله talks about the kursi on the first page of the third juz the seven heavens in comparison to the kursi are like a ring in a desert take a ring Place it in the Sahara Desert. I ask you, my young friend, what is the significance of that one ring in comparison to the world's biggest desert? You'll say to me, there is no comparison. One little ring in comparison to the Sahara Desert, there is no comparison. These seven heavens that I've just described before you my young friends in comparison to the kursi of Allah the seven heavens are the ring and the kursi of Allah is the desert